Welcome to ZCast, everyone. I'm ZS Caravalo from ZK Research, and I'm here at the AWS stand inside the Expo Hall of uh, NVIDIA's GTC 2024 event, which is also known as AI Woodstock, right? Yes, so, <laughs> absolutely. I'm, I'm here with Martin. Yep, man, Martin, I've got your long title, Head of Product Marketing for EC2 Compute Networking at AWS. Just a quick bio on yourself and uh, what you do with AWS. I've been here for roughly six years and I just love to see all of the innovation that's happening in the industry, especially in the world of generative AI. This definitely is the Woodstock of generative AI and it's great to see all of the latest and greatest. It is crazy how big this it's event amazing. has become. It's amazing. Yeah, what was and one of the encouraging things for me is, uh, you know, you think of this event maybe five, six years ago. It was a developer event. Yes. And in fact, uh, Jensen mentioned that in his uh, keynote, where it's really more than that now, right? It's, it there's so is. many people here interested in AI. So I'm curious, just from your perspective, uh, what's caught your eye at the show? Anything, anything of interest? Well, first of all, I mean, this is my first in-person uh, oh, GDC. I mean, this is the the first time that. We've been in person in quite Five some years, time since, yeah. since, since the pandemic. So not only did we get to see the great session content, but it's also great to see, meet the, the industry experts, see how people are innovating in the booth, especially all the um, cool demos, the robots, and just be able to talk to people in real per, in real time. Yeah, the, ro the robots are coming, right? <laughs> there's, a, there's a large set of robots in the back. It's, it's fascinating. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool too. That Now, uh, I know, it's funny, AI has been around a long time. It's not like a new technology, right, right. right? In fact, we use it in our everyday lives. It's just a lot of people don't know we use it. Now, it's it's relatively new within the enterprise world, though. Right. And I know it's been a big focus area for AWS and uh, NVIDIA. So when you talk to customers, what are they, what, where are they with AI and what are the things they're looking to do with it? Well, first of all, I mean, AI has been around for quite some time. And actually, a AWS and Amazon itself has been in the AI world for many decades now. You think back about our um, Amazon.com or AWS, um, we integrate AI into many things we do from, from Alexa to search recommendations to things we do with Prime Video. So AI is everywhere. Now, I, I think what's gotten people excited over the last couple of years, especially in 2023, was this concept of generative AI, right? The, yeah. the, the, the concept of being able to use AI not just as a way to look up uh, and query information really quick, but actually generate new content, videos, summaries, images. It's just very, uh, very powerful. And I think every customer is trying to figure out how do we use this to our benefit to one, produce better customer experiences, um, make it easier for customers to learn things, to, um, to, to just interact with their devices. Um, it's and crazy software. what we do today. Absolutely. In fact, in the analyst Q&A yesterday uh, with Jensen Huang, uh, he was talking about how if you would describe the world we live in today, if he had stood up on stage and said that 10 years ago, people would have thought he was insane, right? That we're actually going to sit down at our computers and have it generate content for us and interact with us and we'll, we'll have a dialogue with it. But that's very real today, right? We're absolutely yeah, living yeah. in a very historic time where you see so much transformation and so quickly too. I mean, think about how fast these models have grown from tens of billions of parameters to literally over trillions of parameters today. Yeah. And it's just amazing the capability that they're able to provide. Yeah, now the big news of the show, at least from my perspective, was the release of Blackwell. Yes. Right, and um, uh, in fact, that's that's an area he spent a lot of time on, yes. Huang did in, in his keynote. Uh, why was, you know, they? it's not like GPUs are new to NVIDIA. Right. Why was this one such a seminal moment? I, I think, what grabbed me by surprise, or what, what surprised me especially, is just the leap in performance. It's not just um, 2x performance, but it, it's it's much more so. You, you saw some of the amazing stats that he, he showed. In certain areas, it's 5x more performance in such a short time. It felt like Hopper just came out yesterday, the, yeah. har the Hopper ar architecture. And as we're integrating it into AWS uh, platform, bringing it to AWS, Blackwell comes along and you know, we, we absolutely are embracing it as well. Yeah, and uh, I think one of the, uh, again, the, I'll, I'll refer back to Q&A he had this where he went a little more deep on these things. He said NVIDIA almost had to build this because yeah. the performance requirements for content generation are so much greater than if you want to call it traditional yeah. AI, right? And yeah. So, so I, I did see AWS announce some press releases with yes. to do with Blackwell. In fact, I think uh, it was an easy two instances of now Blackwell, NVIDIA, DGX Cloud. Why, why are those types of things important? Yeah, I mean, if you think about 
the performance increase I, I talked about, it really impacts um, customers in two ways, right? For those who are building new models, they want to bring those models to market much quicker. Um, now the two to five X speed up in performance just means that you can literally train a large language model taking it down from weeks to months to even days sometimes. And then the second thing is the end user experience. When you're doing inference, you want responses in your real time. Now you think about if you ask um, a device a question or you do a query, it's a bad experience if it takes minutes to get that response. Yeah. Now you can literally get it in near real time. It's a very powerful. And is there any advantage in running it in, in, in the AWS cloud? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we believe that AWS is the best place to, to run GPUs. And um, the announcement we made is really about bringing together the best of both worlds in terms of technology. NVIDIA's powerful GPU platform, but also AWS's uh, world-class leading uh, networking, advanced virtualization, and security capabilities, along with um, things around secure AI. As so you can bring of. the whole stack. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, I think I remember a last year's reInvent, um, uh, I think you guys talked about the fact that you run more GPUs than anybody else, but you have more, you, uh, from a customer-facing perspective, yep. uh, than any other company does. Yes. So, yeah. Now, I also saw so there was some news around Nitro Elastic Fabric, and uh, with respect to Blackwell, yeah. can, you, can you go into some detail on what those are? Yeah, I mean, this is a partnership around just bring um, more security around what we're, we're doing with GPUs, right? So you think about um, GPUs um, and, and just computing in general, you have um, protection, security at rest and in motion with encryption. And the, encrypt, the, the, the connection between GPU to GPU, the communication is done with something called NVLink, and that's, that's encrypted. But when you go from server to server, uh, we have something to offer called EFA, Elastic Fabric Adapter, and you're able to encrypt data uh, as, as it's being, as it's being com communicated through Elastic Fabric Adapter, uh, offers superior performance, really great performance, uh, as well as low, low latency. And then our Nitro system adds an additional layer of um, security on, on top of that. Um, one of the big uh, announcements around uh, trusted execution environments, and that's possible with uh, a capability we have called Nitro Enclaves, where you're able to uh, carve out a trusted execution environment um, so that um, no one sees the, so, so you're able to have secure computation, you know, you, so you have encryption at rest and in motion, but when you're, when you're actually com computating on the uh, data itself, it can't be encrypted, so you need to do it in a trusted execution environment. Yeah, in fact, I'm glad you guys uh, issued that press release because I've, there's been a lot of chatter in the industry about uh, privacy, Yes. Uh, but there hasn't been a lot of innovation in the area of AI security, right? And so I think that's something that uh, you guys are solving for now today. Yeah. So uh, just a couple more questions. Uh, when you think about the broader AWS NVIDIA yes. relationship, which again has been going on for a long time, yeah. well, what, what do customers have to look forward to? What's coming next yeah, that you can I, at least talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I think this is great. I mean, we, we, we were the first to bring GPUs to the cloud and we're always going to be among the first to adopt the latest uh, NVIDIA GPU technology. Um, I, I think what's really exciting is just what we're able to do with the, the latest platform, which is Blackwell. Uh, incorporating their GPUs along with our technology to uh, enable customers to unlock new use cases, whether it's a um, multi-party uh, computation that involves GPUs, whether it's creating uh, realistic uh, di um, digital twins, or whether it's something else. Uh, really, you need a lot of computation to train those models and then ultimately run those models at scale. So really exciting what, what customers can do. Okay, so last question, for cu cu for uh, people watching out there that are interested in AI and they don't know where to start because, yep. let's face it, they, you know, the, the breadth of what you can do with is pretty broad, yep. right? Uh, what advice can you give them? How should companies get started with AI? Yeah, I mean, I, I think just try to learn as much as possible. I think uh, GDC is a great place to learn, but then there's also a lot of resources online as well. Um, just a, a, a simple, search on, online, you can unlock a lot of things. And really for, for me, it was just about being curious, having a curious mindset and doing the research. Um, starting off with simple questions and then diving deeper along the way. Um, Amazon and AWS obviously has a lot of resources available, but then there's also a lot of great content online that you can watch. Well, AI can teach them about AI, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, All right, Martin, anything else you want to add? No, this has been great. I'm looking forward to the rest of the conference and uh, just, 
talking with more people and learning more. Yeah, so yeah, the, this is day three, so it seems like some of the traffic's come down. It's gone from just a crazy amount to a, a large amount. Yes, so, yeah. absolutely. Anyways, on behalf of Martin Yip uh, from AWS, I'm ZS Carol Valor from CK Richard saying thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on my next episode of Zcast. Yeah.